Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the structural activity relationship of anticonvulsants. Anticonvulsants are also known as anti-epileptic drugs or anti-seizures. So, these are nothing but the medication which are used to control the seizures or which are used to stop the seizures or convulsions. So, in this video, we discuss in detail about the modification which we do to the structure and what is the effect of this modification. So, let's begin with the structural activity relationship of anticonversion drugs. Several major groups of drugs have the common structure which is uh, shown here. So, here the this R dash which is nothing but the bridge in between this and this one. So, depending upon that bridge, we get the different category of drugs. So, here we give the numbering to the bridge atom 1 and accordingly we give this number. So, this carbon which are having five, uh, fifth number. So, in some cases, it, the numbering gets somewhat changed but commonly it having a numbering in this fashion. So, if this R dash is simply C double bond O N H then the form category is barbiturate. So, here is the structure in general structure of this barbiturate and here there is the presence of C double bond O N H. Whereas, if it having a simply N H then form compound is harantoin. So, here is the presence of this N H. Whereas, if you simply have a bridging atom oxygen then this form compound is oxazoridine dions whereas if simply there is a presence of bridging atom CH2 then form category is succinamides. So all these are the major groups of drugs which can be used as an anticonversant like barbiturates, harantoin, oxazoridine dions and succinamides. So, there is a one common feature of all these major groups here we discuss like the substitution which are present to the fifth carbon that is to the R and R1. An overall pattern is that this R and R dash should be both are a hydrocarbon radicals. So, this substituent must be a hydrocarbon means contains only carbon and hydrogen and from that if both these R and R dash are having a lower alkyl substituent, then it having a tendency to be active against absent scissor, that is active against petitmal scissors, and which are not active against generalized tonic clonic, that is Granmal epilepsy or partial scissors. So this is the one of the structural feature if these R and R dash are having a lower alkyl then it having a use in petitmal epilepsy. Whereas if one of the hydrocarbon substituent is an aryl group then it having a activity tends to be directed towards generalized tonic clonic and partial scissors and which are not active against absent scissors. So this is the another modification which we do to this structure and we get the different action like the one of the alkyl group is a aryl one then it is having activity against a one type of convergence or scissors which is generalized tonic clonic and partial scissor. Now in next slide we discuss the individual category of drug and its effect. So first one is the barbiturates. So, as there is the bridging atom is C double bond O NH. So, form compound is barbiturates and optimum activity is observed when the substitution at carbon 5 is phenyl ring. Okay, like uh, here is the example of phenobarbitone. So, in that case, one of the alkyl group is a hydrocarbon is a ethyl and one of the hydrocarbon substituent is a phenyl ring. So, form compound is a phenobarbital and which are having a maximum activity. If 
the both are a phenyl ring both substituent are phenyl ring then it having less activity than phenobarbital n1 and n3 here is the n1 and n3 to this hydrogens if you replace by any substituent which result in an increase in activity so which is a beneficial one now next one is about the hydantoin in hydantoin we just replace or the bridging atom is nh so here we discuss five phenyl or other aromatic substitution which is essential for activity yes we have just discussed this one so here is the both are the phenyl ring c6h5c6h5 and this compound is a phenytoin and one of the nitrogen which are having a substituent alkyl substituent at position 5 may contribute to sedation a property which is absent in phenytoin uh, if uh, one of the alkyl group is here is this in case of phenytoin which is a both substituent are phenyl ring but if one of the substituent is lower alkyl like ethyl then it will be produce a sedation sedation is nothing but which produce a cns depression and produce which produce a or which calm the patient but as in case of phenytoin both are phenyl ring so this property of sedation which are not shown for the phenytoin it can be only produce a anti conversion action among other uh, hypnotics one three dark substituted hydantoins exhibit activity against chemically induced conversions while it remains ineffective against electric shock induced conversions next one is oxaludrin dioins Uh, here, uh, just in uh, instead of NH, the oxygen which is a bridging atom, and the three five five trimethadone was the first drug which was introduced specially for treating absent seizures. It is also important as a prototype structure. So here is the structure of trimethadione in which there. this nitrogen which are also having a methyl substituent and this fifth carbon which are also having a methyl group so this 1 2 and 3 so this 3 5 5 tri methadione and which is a prototype structure means now this compound which can be used for treating the absence seizure because here is the presence of lower alkyl group and just now we have seen this point the lower alkyl group which can be used in absence seizure and this the modification which we do to this trimethadone uh, trimethadione structure and we get a different better compound the nature of the substituent at carbon 5 which is very important one example the lower alkyl substituent which can be used towards anti peditmal activity and while acyl substituent if it is present then it can be used as a anti grand grandmal activity the n alkyl substituent if it is present it does not alters the activity because the used compound which are having the substituent to this nitrogen which can be used as a anti conversion because the if there are any alkyl group to this nitrogen after metabolism there is a dealkylation and then it will be produce the action next one is the succinamide in succinamide uh, which is the same to that of oxaludrindiol but instead of oxygen it having a just ch2 group and in this succinamide the numbering to the ring, ring is somewhat different one uh, because we can give the numbering we start the numbering from the hetero atom which is nothing but the nitrogen and accordingly this bridging carbon with having a fourth number so the example of the succinamides are ethosuccin uh, ethosuccinamide and the 
methoxamide and both are effective in effective in the cure of pedidymal epilepsy uh, even though this methoxamide which are having a phenyl ring but it can be used or effective against the pedidymal epilepsy so this is a one exceptional point like we have seen that if one of the substituent is a aryl group then it can be have activity against the tonic chloric seizure but here it can be even though it having a phenyl ring can be used in pedidymal or in absence seizure so all these are about the structural activity relationship of anti conversion and here we discuss the individual uh, major group like barbiturates oxaludrin diodes harantoin and succinamides hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning